Make some polymer clay marble earrings with me. I originally wanted to make them blush pink, mint, and gold. But once I baked them, the colors definitely changed. Slice, slice, slice. Roll, roll. These little flowers I used for studs. Here is how they turned out. Not too bad. What do you think? The first step of earring making is always to custom mix our own colors. We like to use Cernet, Sculpey Souffle, Sculpey Primo, but never Sculpey 3. Then we pick out our cutters and try to cut out as many shapes as possible on our slab. Our next step is details, so what we try to do is roll them out nice and thin so that our earrings don't get too chunky and heavy. And we try to lay them out nice and smooth so that there's no air bubbles. After that, we always try to add some texture. I love adding texture because not only does it give a piece a little pizzazz, but it also can hide imperfections like fingerprints. If you're looking for good cheap texture tools for polymer clay, Amazon has a bunch. So now I'm basically repeating the same steps of detail work, but with the second component of the earring, which is a cute little daisy that hangs above the strawberry. After baking these for about 45 minutes at 275, we're ready to sand and drill with our Dremel. This part does get pretty dusty though, so we always like to wash the pieces off and give them a nice little bath. The final step is to assemble the hardware, and here they are! Our signature retro strawberry earrings. Limang buwan after magsimula yung lockdown ng 2020, naisipan kong magsimula ng negosyo. I wanted to sell products na ako mismo ang may gawa. And thank God, 2022 na, pero yung negosyo buhay na buhay pa din. Ansaya lang kasi sa feeling makita ang suot ng mga tao yung mga jewelry na ako mismo ang nag-design, gumawa gamit ang sarili kong mga kamay, at from my heart talaga. Nakakapagod sobra plus college student din ako at may other responsibilities. But I love what I do and I know I'll make it big someday. Kaya laban lang ng laban sa ating mga small business owners. So you say you wanna get away We don't need a plane I could be your escape Take it to a place On my skin This is love I know it is I know it sounds super cliche But you make me feel some type of way What you say, you and me, just forget about the past, throw it in the trash, what you say, you and me. What would your response be if I said the only natural talent that an artist has is the desire to create? Everything outside of that is a skill that they have learned. And some people pick those skills up quicker than others. And everybody, everybody can learn those skills if they have the desire. Do you write, I got my guy, but I, I can't help it, I want you.
confused This one's for you Baby, you my everything You all I ever wanted We could do it real big Bigger than you ever done it You be up on everything Other hoes ain't never on it I want this forever I swear I could spend whatever on it Cause she hold me down Every time I get up When I get right, I promise that we gon' give it up She made me beg for it Till she give it up And I say the same thing Every single time I say you the fuck Today I finished some earrings using a multi-patterned cane. I started making a leaf cane by using this blend of green, cutting it into four and connecting two along the light side and two along the dark side. I cut those into five and then stacked them together with a layer of black in between. Once that was done, it looked like this. I cut it along a diagonal and then created a stem for the leaf. I put that in the middle of the two pieces and then pinched them together to create the leaf shape. I then covered that in a layer of dark green and reduced the cane. When it was done, it looked like this. Next, I started on the orange pattern. I started using a blend of yellow to orange and then concertina folded it into this triangle, which I reduced down. I covered that in a layer of white, reduced it down further, and then pinched the segments to make the orange. I put a cylinder of white in the middle, joined the two halves, and then covered it in a layer of dark orange. Then I reduced it down. And here's how it looks when it was done. Lastly, I made a flower cane using another blend of yellow to orange. I rolled this up into cylinders and then put those together to make the center of the flower. I used alternating segments of white and green to create the flower pattern. I put the center between the two halves, covered it in the same dark green, and then reduced it down. It was time to make the final cane. I reduced my three patterns down into some various sizes and then used little filler patterns to fill in the gaps. Here's how it looks when it was done. I took slices off of that cane and combined them together to make a sheet. I filled in some of the bigger gaps and then flattened it out to fill in the small gaps. I then cut out the shapes that I wanted. After those were baked and sanded, I added a gloss, drilled holes, and then added gold findings for the, to make the earrings. And here's how they look in the end. Let me know what you think. <laughs>